Greetings. Welcome to our morning devotion. The tool of our devotion today, Every Day with Jesus, with Pastor Joshua, the Oasis of Hope. Our subject today is quite an interesting subject. Fight the good fight. Praise the Lord. First Timothy 6, 12, in the King James says, Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold of eternal life. Whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. Praise the Lord. Christianity is not for the faint-hearted. It's not for weaklings either. If you have to be, to be a success in the journey of faith, you must demonstrate courage and boldness. Oftentimes, you will be called upon to exercise some level of courage beyond the norm. You will be called to deny yourself the most of what you value for the sake of the kingdom. Now, this is not easy. However, the grace of God is always available and sufficient to help us through this process. In this regard, the grace of God is only an enabler. But we have to enable a number of things, to engage, sorry, a number of things in order to make progress. One of those things is to fight and to fight the good fight of faith. But what is the good fight of faith? This is when we make faith proclamations of a stubborn life circumstances until those circumstances change to reflect what we are saying. It is to make faith proclamation upon stubborn life circumstances until those circumstances transform. <coughs> they change to reflect what we are professing, what we are confessing, what we are saying from the word of God. For example, a doctor's diagnosis says one has cancer. They, instead of taking it quietly, start declaring that they are the healed of the Lord in Jesus' name. Not stopping until the doctor's report on subsequent tests reveal that indeed they are healed and in perfect condition. That's the good fight of faith. It's important to note that for it to qualify to be called a good fight, two things must be involved. The word of God being the only truth and the courage of the believer. The apostle Paul says, fight the good fight. Lay hold of eternal life. In other words, talk. Keep talking until what you are talking about becomes a reality in accordance to the finished works of Christ on the cross. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What a revelation. Let's take the confession together. Say after me, dear Father, I thank you for giving me your word. By it, I am fashioned and shaped for glory daily. Thank you for awakening me to the reality of its functionality in my life. I am excited and full of joy just to know that your word in my mouth is a weapon. I purposely choose to use it for my benefit and to the glory of your name. Hallelujah. Just pray in tongues in the name of Jesus. This is the opportunity. There's grace. There's grace. If you are sick, declare you are the healed of the Lord in the mighty name of you. Whatever the circumstances, declare the word of God over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare there is grace for your upgrade to the glory of God in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Enjoy a productive day. Amen.